Let's ultrasound. Today we're doing an ultrasound physics review and we're talking ultrasound resolution. Ultrasound resolution is the ability to distinguish between two different structures on an ultrasound image. And the key to this is to be able to distinguish them as two distinct entities. And we look at this in terms of space, time, and contrast. There's three types of ultrasound resolution. Spatial, also known as detail resolution, contrast resolution, and temporal resolution. So first let's talk about spatial or detail resolution. This is the ability to detect structures that are close together. And this is the detail within an ultrasound image. There's three types of spatial resolution, axial, lateral, and elevational. Axial resolution is the ability to distinguish between two structures that are parallel to each other along the ultrasound beam. And this is also known as the acronym LARD. Longitudinal, axial, range, radial, and depth are all synonyms for axial resolution. And axial resolution is affected by the spatial pulse length or SPL, which is how long the ultrasound pulses. And shorter pulses have higher axial resolution. So how can sonographers affect the axial resolution of an image? The sonographer cannot directly change the SPL. This is determined by the transducer manufacturer. First, there's transducer damping or backing material, which creates shorter wavelengths, which results in higher axial resolution. And the SPL does not vary with depth on the image. Higher frequencies result in shorter wavelengths, which results in higher axial resolution. So either using a higher frequency transducer or switching to a higher frequency when using a multi-frequency transducer are the only ways that a sonographer can directly affect the axial resolution. Now let's talk lateral resolution. Lateral resolution is the ability to distinguish between two structures that are perpendicular to each other along the ultrasound beam. And this is also known as the acronym LADA. Lateral, angular, transverse, and azimuthal are all synonyms for lateral resolution. And lateral resolution is affected by beam width. So how can a sonographer affect the lateral resolution? First of all, the beam width varies with depth. With a higher frequency, the near field is longer and the beam width diverges less in the far field. And frequency is inversely related to beam width. As frequency increases, the beam width decreases. Increasing the amount of focal zones narrows the beam width at multiple depths, which increases lateral resolution. And the very best resolution is at the focus. So moving the ultrasound focal zone to be at or slightly below the area of interest decreases the width of the ultrasound beam and improves lateral resolution. Also, increasing amounts of depth equals decreased lateral resolution. Elevational resolution, which is also known as slice thickness resolution, is resolution along the third dimension of the ultrasound beam, or the height of the ultrasound beam. The narrower the thickness of the height of the beam, the higher the elevational resolution will be. And slice thickness artifact creates artifactual echoes within structures. So how can a sonographer affect the elevational resolution? The beam height is set by the transducer manufacturer. It's the height of the ultrasound crystal. Switching to a multi-dimensional transducer, such as a 1.5 dimensional array, will improve elevational resolution. With a multi-dimensional transducer, multiple rows of crystals are stacked on top of each other, which increases the height of the ultrasound beam. A standard transducer only has one row along the height of the ultrasound beam, so the beam is much narrower in the height dimension. It's also important to know that the focal zone control does not decrease the beam width in the elevational dimension. Now let's talk about contrast resolution. And this is the ability to differentiate structures with similar shades of echogenicity from one another. How can a sonographer affect contrast resolution? Contrast resolution is affected by controls that change the contrast level of the image, such as dynamic range, grayscale maps, and auto-optimize. And contrast resolution is also affected by achieving higher resolution in an area. So moving the focus to the area of interest will increase lateral resolution, which in turn increases contrast resolution. Also using multiple focal zones and using a higher frequency, these are all ways of achieving higher resolution within an area. 
temporal resolution is the ability to accurately track how an object has moved over time, and this is affected by frame rate, or FR. A frame is one ultrasound image, and frame rate is the number of frames displayed per second. And frame rate is increased by shallower depth, which means less time to make each image, and each frame composed of fewer pulses, which is more frames per second. So how can a sonographer affect temporal resolution? They can affect it by decreasing the size of the field of view. This is the FOV, and also known as sector width. This uses less pulses, which increases the frame rate, which results in increased temporal resolution. A sonographer can also decrease the depth. A shallower depth equals higher frame rate and increases temporal resolution. Also, decreasing the amount of focal zones means fewer pulses per scan line, which increases the frame rate, which results in higher temporal resolution. Decreasing the line density also increases frame rate, which results in increased temporal resolution. But note that this also decreases lateral resolution. Also, turning off color Doppler and or decreasing the color Doppler box size. These result in increased frame rate which increases temporal resolution. Now let's talk about the relationship between temporal resolution, PRF, and depth. Decreasing the depth, meaning a shallower depth, means less time to make the image, a faster listening time. This results in a higher frame rate, which increases temporal resolution. And PRF, or pulse repetition frequency, is the number of pulses emitted by the ultrasound machine per second. So a decreased or shallower depth equals an increased PRF and increased temporal resolution. PRF and depth are inversely related. As depth increases, PRF decreases. And a note about PRF. Using a higher PRF decreases aliasing. However, decreasing the PRF can be useful when evaluating stones. It allows twinkle artifact, which is a signal that occurs with gallstones and kidney stones to be visualized. Thank you.